this family, we're all kings and queens. Everyone here has achieved the most. But things are about to get messy. I'm oh! gonna say what the fuck no, I wanna say. Well yeah. done, roll a red carpet. Destruction. <laughs> hi guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is marcel if you are a returning subscriber i love you so much thank you so much for your support so guys in today's video i actually want to do something different i am a big fan of reality tv but today i want to talk about this show there's a new show that has sparked my interest from season one and i just felt like you know what i actually want to get into it because not only am i african but i'm very proud of this show it's called young famous an african if you are a fan of reality tv show i'll advise you to watch young famous and african start with season one and then you watch season two you can find it on netflix this is one of the few shows that has sparked interest from season one usually when there is like a new reality tv show you need some time to warm up to it you need some time to proper be captivated so season two came out i think it was probably two weeks ago I know this video has come really late, but since it took him out around my birthday, okay? I couldn't do a video, but after my birthday, I binge watch all of it. I love the addition to the cast. I love the few people that they brought in. I want to get into this season and just give you guys my brief opinion on everyone. So I'm going to start with the first person that was probably the loudest, the most, you know, out there for me is Swanky. Swanky it was an amazing addition to the show he brought in a lot of energy and i felt like he brought that other side of like american reality tv show vibe to the show him and fantana oh, he likes being friends with popular girls he likes being friends with girls that are currently in the now and there's nothing wrong with that because i guess that's probably the way to make connections these days in their industry so there's nothing wrong with that i'm just sharing my opinion guys but also i feel like he is a loyal friend if, he, if he's your friend he can be really really loyal it's rather unfortunate that he had a little issue with annie idibia by the way guys i was on swanky's side with that issue i feel like annie actually said the things that he accused her of saying I was on the phone as well you just did not know i was on the phone now first of all that's a lie i'm telling you swanky that call never happened girl You know, the only reason I'm not going AYA with you right now is just because of your kids. Because it would be so embarrassing for them to hear your voice. And this is all the crazy things you had to say about Uncle Swanky. I could see all of that from her body language when he mentioned it, when they had to sit down to, you know, iron out their issues. I feel like Annie actually said those things and she didn't know that Swanky heard them so i felt like once he said it she was too shocked you know but i hate the fact that she couldn't apologize genuinely from the uh, the first time they sat down um you know we got a little bit of an apology in the second sit down but i feel like she should have apologized from the first time that he mentioned it i feel like there was some sense of pride in it like and he's got pride you know guys <laughs> i love his fashion he's brought in so much light to the show in my opinion i think he's a really really great addition i feel like they should bring him back next season definitely but i love how talented he is he's a great fashion designer i mean he styled simon and Portia's wedding and he did a great job in my opinion like i was like so surprised i didn't know that he actually styled Portia and simon on their wedding day i heard it when he said it on the show so i was quite surprised he's such a great fashion designer and he puts it on he puts it on on the show i mean if you watch the show you've seen his different outfits it's quite creative it's quite creative i'm not gonna lie he is creative another new addition to the show was fantana i love fantana at the beginning i'm not gonna lie but i started feeling some type of way when you know she started coming for zari too much and bear in mind guys quick disclaimer i'm not even a zari fan i don't really like the way she portrayed herself in season one but yeah i hated the fact that fantana came in and was going hard for zari for no reason in my opinion i feel like fantana got, getting on this show 
she had her eyes set on diamond platinum already because she was already complaining about how tight diamond and zari were at the party she just met them that was even before she and diamond started doing whatever they whatever they were doing she was already feeling some type of way i could already tell there was a little bit there was a little sense of jealousy there designer wearing old beige your dry ass wigs fuck out of here your wig is dry i'm not talking to you go on you have vibes you want to be fake whatever the fuck are you do date are you done are you done are you are you are you fucking cougar are you i hate the fact that she did not really show us her music i hate the fact that she didn't really get us to get to know her because i didn't know fantana onto this show she says she's the biggest dancehall artist from ghana but i didn't know her i wish that she portrayed a lot more of what she's got on the other side and what she's got going on with diamond and zari she kept saying how she hasn't got feelings she's not gonna catch feelings for diamonds when they kept warning her about diamond because diamond met his match because they're, they're whatever he does to me I'll him. i'm not in love with diamond diamond, diamond is a city boy and i'm a city you know what I'm saying? I will see another guy wearing 10 chains right now and about diamonds. But I feel like she definitely caught feelings because there's no way you'll be so pressed about a baby mama. She didn't like the fact that they were too close at parties. And I mean, like, you should expect that sort of thing. They are like family, in my opinion. I don't think that they will ever, you know, be together, but they are family. They share kids together. So you kind of expect that and i feel like for her to come so hard for zari was so wrong in so many other ways you know mentioning personal things like you want to have a baby with him if he tell if i tell you the things that he's been telling me you're going to collapse one i don't think diamond told her a lot of things that's what you personal. say yes diamond was talking about personal stuff to me but that's between whatever he told me but, but girl, you, that's not yeah. how you put it um, what did i say then but you said that time. Yes. At the same yeah. time of them. And, and the thing, uh -uh, uh -uh, the things he told me about you. Yes. About me. About you. If he if you were to repeat that, I would literally have go to his I said stroke. So what we saw on camera was him talking about them having a baby but from zara's point of view in my opinion it could actually makes sense she probably didn't want to have too many baby daddies i know she has another child with another guy so she's got two baby daddies at the moment there's nothing wrong with her wanting her kids to have the same mom and dad she wasn't saying that they should sleep together i, I believe that she was basically saying they she use sperms and eggs and do a surrogacy or whatever or IVF. And I don't think there's anything wrong with you wanting or your kids to have the same mom and dad. Absolutely not. But for the fact that, you know, he mentioned that to somebody that he's just started seeing. And I don't even think that they're still seeing each other. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. But, you know, you shouldn't be talking about your personal life, your family, you, you know, the mother of your child, your kids, to someone that is just a, per a temporary person. They said on the show, do not talk about permanent people to temporary people. That is so true. I feel like that was so wrong of Diamond, honestly. And I like the fact that Zari checked him at the end for that, you know, whenever you meet your girls, whenever you meet someone and you guys are doing whatever you're doing, do not bring me up. Do not even discuss me. But yeah, Fantana was, you know, she brought in that love and hip hop vibe as well. Guys, she got really heated with Zari to the point where she was talking about dragging this woman across the floor. Designer. One thing also is that I hate when you know all these twenty year old girls they call people that are in their thirties old like no i was like she's calling zari old like old she was calling her an old days old that i don't want to say the names on youtube it's just the fact you know women attacking each other and then you know age shaming people i just hate it and also being in your 30s or even your 40s is not old even in your 50. the next addition to the show was louis i made my first million when i was 26 years old 
When I walk into a room, two things happen. Number one, the guys feel like they need to hit the gym more. Number two, the ladies start to question their guys, like, why don't you look like that? At first, when he came in, I felt like, you know what, he's a good looking guy. I hope he's got a lot to bring to the show. And then I, f I started feeling at one point like he was trying too hard to fit in and it was coming across like fake and it was basically there was a scene where he was basically asking the guys that oh so who is single so it was like a dating show you're going there to date so it's like love island or something you're going in there you know to meet someone and then you start asking oh yeah you start asking what's everyone's situation that was the vibe that he was giving me and he came in so strong and i expected to see that energy that he came in with to portray throughout the show i hated the fact that he allowed himself to to be bullied by swanky yes i said bully and i'm not using it loosely i felt like what swanky did to him was absolutely wrong but i wanted louis to stand up for himself i hate when people just let themselves be like you know walked all over i like when you stand up for yourself you have to have your own back first before someone else has your back he couldn't speak up he couldn't like you know the stuff about asking zari's ex to have a baby he heard that and he couldn't even say oh no this is not what i said and stuff he just let the narrative play on i don't know if some of these people were doing things to give us a show but I just feel like, ooh, you should have just spoken. I honestly feel like Bonang actually was very hard on him. Very, very hard. At one point, I was like this. I felt like that guy was going to cry. And hey, 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 music. Where is Australia my scene, by way now? What does that what mean? What does that mean? No, 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 I can tell you with your bullshit. That's what it means. I can't hear lying about me. So the same shit he's pulling okay, with the so same it's mentality. more to these then. Okay, now I Don't come and lie I'm about people that creating things in your I mind that according to things you assume okay, people are going release, to do. Release, sister. I'll stay out of it. I'll eat some chicken. Bonang has unresolved anger. This is a she was so hard on him and i don't even know why bonan just took it to another level i felt like there was something else that was bothering her maybe and also you know the situation with the hotel room with bonang um that he said to swanky i don't know if he lied or not but the fact that bonan could not even remember she couldn't remember the event and i'm sure if it was like four or five years ago you would still remember even 10 years ago you will remember especially if it was an event that you left because you couldn't perform or because you couldn't do what you went there to do you left upset you would definitely remember the fact that she couldn't even remember him and if he's the one that flew her to namibia and I, and got everything arranged and she couldn't remember him I felt like Louis might have been lying. Or he was maybe assisting someone that got that arranged for Bonang. I don't know. But yeah, that could have been something that also like tip her off. But I feel like she went in too hard on him. And also insulting someone by the country is absolutely uncalled for. Well, let's go on to Bonang anyway. She was another addition to the show. Let me tell you something. I have been following Bonang on Instagram for maybe like 10 years. I've been a fan of Bonang. So when she came on the show, I was very, very excited to say the least because this is somebody I love her fashion sense. I know that she's a business mogul and I was looking forward to what she was going to bring on the show. It was rather unfortunate that she left after a few episodes, you know. I felt like with her leaving, it was a combination of everything in my opinion a combination of the fact that she probably expected people to bow down to her connie wasn't wrong about this i felt like she probably expected people to be below her but she went into a show where a lot of people they have also achieved and they were not quite impressed by what you've got and what you haven't so i don't know it also could be because her best her ex best best friend was in the show who is Nadia? I know so Nadia is dating Bonang's ex. Like that could be another reason. And I also feel like Carney could have been threatened by Bonang. Don't they look similar? But I feel like Carney and Bonang they can pass for sisters. They can pass for big sis and little sis. But I feel like Carney was a, a little bit like threatened by Bonang. Carney even said it herself. She said she's never been able to understand bonang and if she doesn't understand somebody 
she doesn't have control and for her it scares her and that's honesty right there if you don't understand someone they remain a mystery to you and what you don't know can sometimes scare you because you you have no control but it was a shame for bonang to leave i really hope that she 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 stayed on the show i feel like she would have been so great on the show let's talk about all the all cast members okay so we have nadia in my opinion, I feel like she's very, very messy. Um, she likes asking questions, not because she's trying to resolve something, but because she's trying to be messy. Yeah. But I just hate the fact that she stood there with Swanky, Carney, and they were talking about Arnie, and she basically said that, yeah, she was friends with Arnie because of Swanky, and that she does, she's not really Arnie's friend, and things like that. I just felt like... But yeah, but then on the show also, they use the word friend quite loosely. I'm going to tell you guys, like some of them say they're friends. Some of them say you don't do this to friends. You don't do this to your friends. And I'm thinking, you guys probably don't even see each other when you're not filming this show. Like they're filming it in, in South Africa. Okay. I feel like these people travel there for this show. And then after the show, they go, I don't even think that they communicate with each other outside the show. But hey, if it's to give us a good show, why not? And I would have loved for them to maybe, that could have been like a really great storyline that they make up on the show as well because they used to be best friends, but I don't know. And let's talk about Connie. I love Connie. I feel like Connie wants to be like the mama of the group. She wants to be the person in charge. So, which is why I feel like when Bonan came around, Connie was a bit uncomfortable because... Bonan could easily steal that spot. She could have easily stolen that spot. But Kanye wants to be like the mama of the show. I like the fact that she can be messy as well. And sometimes she can claim to be your friend, but she's not your friend. I mean, I mean, like her and Annie, I don't understand. I don't understand. Like when they met each other at the beginning of the show, didn't they cry? Like they shed tears. I was quite surprised because I was like, these girls are actually friends like you know contrary to what i thought but you know she just ghosted annie or like yeah yeah whatever i just feel like connie can be fake as well and she can you can tell her something and she'll run i don't like what she did to louis and she was letting him be bashed by everyone else and she didn't even say anything she took what he told her and went and told zari i'm gonna ask her i'm just like do you think it's a good idea for me and her to find out more about surrogacy because this is something that's not out there in namibia so two things will happen it's either Zari and myself are gonna go on research about surrogacy and have individual surrogates or Zari might be my egg donor and I become a sperm donor. What is Louis saying? Well, what I understood watching that scene, I felt like Louis was just trying to ask for an advice, which is really stupid as well, by the way, Louis, like that advice, that whatever your idea was is so crazy. He was just coming to her for an advice, but she took it to Zari. Like she made it seem like Louis asked her to go and speak to Zari on his behalf, which was totally wrong. And I hate the fact that he couldn't even tell her, no, this is not what I did. Like, why did you go and tell Zari? I didn't ask you to tell Zari. But I would love to see her next season still. Let's talk about the Edibias. Before she got on this show, like from season one, I've seen the first time I saw Annie was in Two Faced Edibia's music video, okay? The African Queen music video. We were vibing to that song back in the days. He had all these beautiful black ladies in his video, and Annie was one of them. And I felt like she was so beautiful. And you know, and after that, I've seen her in a few movies. But I've never really known Annie. Like, I've never really known who she is and what she is like. So this show has brought a side to Annie that I feel like we didn't know. Uh, I mean, this show is helping us see her for who she is sometimes. I hate the fact that she's allowed so much disrespect from her husband and um, Two-Face. I hate the fact that she's not going to leave even if he continues cheating or having more babies. 
I hate the fact that she won't leave, you know, and I understand that it is her childhood sweetheart and us girls, we tend to hold on to our sweetheart more than they hold on to us, okay? They we will basically forgive them for everything they do because they're the only person that we've known and we don't want to change that. For example, she went on the radio to clear the rumors about Two Face having another baby with their personal banker. I felt like that should have been Two Face clearing the rumors, not Annie. I don't want Annie to go around and be controlling whatever damage Two Face has done. If he's done something to you, he should be the one to go out there and be clearing these rumors and be answering those questions. Now understand from her perspective that you know the trolling online is becoming too much, and I don't want to be one of the women that tell Annie, "Oh, you're stupid," or or that you know you're a disgrace to womanhood i think that's quite harsh to tell someone but also i understand her point of view where she was saying that her kids are now old to the point where they go on social media they have social media they can see all these things and it can affect their love relationship it can affect their love life in the future and i don't want when kids are being involved in things and i don't want kids to get hurt so i feel like maybe the trolling should stop a little bit why are we trolling arnie for what two Face is doing we're not trolling two Face. the trolling annie in my opinion when i see all the insults on on twitter that most of them are targeted at annie and she's not the one going out going out there sleeping around it is two-faced i feel like the trolling might be too much for her and i hate the harsh words that are being thrown at her these days by other females it's quite wrong so i feel like whatever two-faced was saying on that table when they went out for dinner talking about a man can be so in love with his wife a man can love his wife so much but when he goes out there but he can have sex with other people without feelings attached feeling no feelings involved and he was quite adamant about it and i hate the fact that annie was like asking him, are you talking about generally or you're talking about yourself i feel like that is actually something that two-faced believes in you know and when you believe something you tend to do that yourself honestly i felt like he was talking about himself but annie didn't really catch it or she caught it and she just tried to ignore it or something men are wired like that a man would love a woman to hell 100 percent. but maybe he's somewhere yeah his dick would just decide something like no he's mine not his dick it's not his, it's an own entity okay, how you look at it yeah. he will yeah. fuck even if he's married but he will not even give a fuck about that person he just wants so to say that ask you, are you talking about january or you're talking about yourself that's what is this what you me. believe or you're talking about but you know leave it to not nadia's messy ass to like pull him up on it she kept asking him so are you talking about yourself you're talking about men in general and i feel like honestly two-faced kept digging and digging and digging and digging and annie leaving the table being upset it's like she's upset about she's upset with everyone else but not the person that was opening his mouth and saying all this foolishness i don't i didn't understand i feel like she doesn't hold two-faced accountable a lot and she is still very in love with her husband i can see that and that's amazing because sometimes when you've been with somebody for so long you know that feeling goes away i love the fact that she's still very in love with him i love annie's fashion sense i love it i think she's really trying a woman should never go through that much trouble because of a man and i hate the fact that people are blaming her for two faces um bullshit let's talk about andile oh andile andile <laughs> Angela is such a charmer. He is, in my opinion, is basically the voice of reason of the show. He's one of my favorite cast on this show. I'm not gonna lie to you. Him bringing his two baby mamas on the show, like you were just portraying Zari a few weeks back, and then now you're talking about, you know what? You want to get married? You want to settle down? Like you've done that twice already. This can't be new. I was just thinking, this is all for a show. For you to bring your two baby mamas to a show and sit them on the table, invite them to Zari's birthday, Zari that you were chatting up. I, yeah, it was just too messy for me. And a part of me felt like that was just to give us a show. Um, you know, so he was talking to one baby mama about getting getting back together. And then after, like, towards the end, he's getting back with the other baby mama it's like it was so weird so so weird but 
Antile is fun. I like him so much. He's probably my best, <laughs> my best person on this show. I don't think he's serious. I don't think marriage is for him. He said it himself, marriage is not for him. Um, but naked also, that's another person I'm just like, what are we doing? Like, I don't think he's ever gonna marry that girl. And the fact that he did like a trailer proposal, in my opinion, that was very disrespectful. And that could only be advised by Connie. I'm even surprised that she's still with him after that. Yeah, I don't think that he'll propose to Kaylee ever, in my opinion. He might do next season. That could be a show, you know? She's been asking for this proposal for two years now. So hopefully next season we get to see some proposal. But I just hate the fact that, like, she's a beautiful lady. She shouldn't be begging a man to marry her. The next person we're going to talk about is Zari. I mean, Zari is such a great element to this show, in my opinion. She's good on the show. I didn't like her season one, if I'm honest with you, because she came on some, like, I'm a boss lady. I've got this, got that, got this. And, you know, the weeks wasn't really telling boss lady. The weeks was really giving, I'm rich. So I was just like, girl, like, come on. I just hated that she was all about, you know, I'm better than you. She's a beautiful woman. We all know she is a beautiful woman. Other women on that show are also beautiful. That is not the only beautiful woman. But I love that this year, in a weird way, Fantana kind of put her down in her place for a little bit. You know, I wasn't too mad at it, but I was mad at the fact that it was because of Diamond. <laughs> like, Diamond has got a girlfriend. He was portraying it all over social media, and you are fighting Zari about Diamond. What I would like to see for season three, honestly, is... I want to see how these people get their money. I want to see what they do because that will inspire a lot of us Africans, you know. I want to see what they do. I want to see a day in their life, a day in their businesses type of thing. I want to see their grind. Also, I feel like this season might have been scripted a little bit. You know, they were trying to give us so much, so much of a show. And they don't even have to do too much for the show. We love the outfits, the culture, you know, everything. It's basically something that we are already relating to. So you don't have to do too much. I feel like they should let these cast members be their real authentic selves. And they will basically shine. I really see this show going up and up and up from here. But if they had to ask me my opinion about who should be the next addition or who should they bring next to the show, I'll definitely say bring Mama Lagos because I know Bob will give us such a good show. We definitely want to see Bob on this show. Like, she is young, she's famous, she's African. We want to see Bob Risky on this show, okay? If you really want to talk or make money, bring bob to the show the other person that i feel like sh they should add to the show in my opinion is choma she was on the real housewives of lagos but i feel like those girls on the real housewives of lagos are very different to her and this show might be more of her vibe i feel like they should really bring um choma to young famous and african i hope that you guys enjoyed this video we can't wait for season three of young famous and african so i hope that it comes out this year but i have a feeling it will be another year it will be next year thank you so much for watching i will see you in my next video bye